Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about chicken shackle or evisceration shackle. In a previous video, we talked about uh, butchering chickens and a lot of them. One of the things we really, really liked um, that I had never used before in all my uh, previous years of butchering chickens, processing uh, birds, was the evisceration shackle. I started pricing them and thought, well, ooh, those are a little more uh, uh, costly than I had anticipated, so I thought there's got to be an easy way to make a simple chicken shackle, and uh, there is. So today's video, I want to show you how to make a chicken shackle, uh, just from stuff you can get right from the hardware store off Amazon, or you might even have laying around your farm like I did. 5 16 rod, regular round stock. I used galvanized that I got at my local hardware store, just a three foot long piece of 5 16 So the quarter inch seemed too small, three eighths seemed too big. But real quickly, I'm gonna show you how to do it. We had this is the bar that I bought, and then I bought a swivel hook that you just flip on here like this, putting the swivel side down, and it comes up to here. And then I had a clip so that I could actually just adjust my height really easily and this is actually hanging from another chain or a nail or something up above. We had a whole line of them. And so you can see, um, you could hook your bird in here and hook it to the next one and go on down the row if you needed to. But if you needed to make an adjustment, uh, these swivel hooks made it real easy to just clip, grab a different link and go up the way and hook in again so your height was really easily adjusted. Also, um, the swivel was really nice. I ended up, I had straight hooks, but then the chain would bind and your bird would constantly try to spin around. And so with a swivel, that allowed you to swing your bird because your bird's hanging here, right? And you want to tilt it up and eviscerate and clean out the back, or maybe you want to swirl it around and pull feathers off. Of course, really good to have a swivel. So I like the swivel. So let's look at how we made it. So I just went to the hardware store just to get you an idea and just bought a 5 16 by 36 inch long round bar. And so what you do, you just take your tape measure and 18 inches would be halfway, right? So you take and just mark one at 18 and then we're going to mark another one at about five inches. So I'm marking five inches off each end. So I mark five inches off here and five inches off here, and then one mark in the center of the rod. And now I'll show you how to do that. So then I'm gonna bend that five inches up, and I wanna end up with about a half inch slot down here, maybe a little bit tighter. Um, and then obviously tapering up. So when you hook the bird's ankle in there, or leg, the knuckle will catch in there really nicely. So you wanna make sure you bend that tight enough. I like to actually do an overbend, and you can kind of see it here. I overbent tight and then spread it back out, and that gets you a tighter um, point down here, and I'll show you what I mean. So I borrowed a friend's shop to, to borrow their vise. Um, I don't have a nice vise and table like this at home, but I put that in there, and again, the dimensions aren't that critical. So I just put that around that five, I went in just a little bit from that five mark, and then I'm just gonna bend it by hand. Oops. And I bend, and like I said, I'm gonna go past. So I'm gonna go really tight, and I almost go back to a 90. In fact, we could do a 90. And now I'm gonna bend back, kind of pull that back like that. Very nice. And you can see, so now that got me pretty tight right here. So if you can imagine my finger is the chicken leg, that's gonna seat in there and eventually catch. So I really like that. And now we're just going to repeat the process on the other end of the rod. Make sure you put it in here that you're actually bending the tail the right way. Now if we're right here. So imagine bringing this around, the tail's going to match up with that. Again, just going to go around and then bend it up top a little bit to get past my vise. Go to about 90 degrees and then just come back a little bit. And then I'm gonna put this in the vise and straighten that back out. Again, this is just basics of metal work. There's nothing special about it at all. We're just trying to get it looking halfway straight, kind of pretty like. And then we're gonna to come to our middle mark here. You can barely see it, but I see it. And I'm gonna come again about, probably about half inch away because by the time I make that bend, you'll see what I'm talking about. I start bending that, it's gonna to wanna to bend at a different point in the bar. 
I'm going to put the other side in, just to kind of keep this straight. Otherwise, the one side of the bar will always try to bend a little funny. So then I kind of have it symmetrical. And again, I'm just kind of doing this by sight. There's nothing critical about these dimensions at all. I just want it to look good. And then I'm going to put this down in the vise like this and try to pin, uh, pinch that pretty tight down here at the point so that my, there we go. Can I kind of be hard to get that kind of good? Because so I want that to, so there you go. I'm going to bend this a little bit more here. I don't like that. Again, we just kind of want to make it look symmetrical, just make it look good. I'm going to bend that out kind of like that. And these, with the, the, the beautiful thing about the 5 16th rod was it's fairly flexible. So even if you had to use a box end wrench or some other item or maybe put it on the corner of your table and bend it a little bit, you can actually kind of bend these while you're working on them. If the chicken's legs aren't quite slipping in quite right or something, it's pretty easy to just change them and kind of bend them a little bit, but they're strong enough, they won't bend when you're pulling on your bird. Okay, so you just watch me bend that. It's really simple, look at that, isn't that beautiful? And then you just hook your little shackle in here. We can put a link to that on Amazon. Um, but there's just little links. You can buy this bar, link chain. And then I just got like um, a number one chain or maybe a little heavier, doesn't matter. Just some kind of chain uh, that has links. And you can adjust that upward or downward depending on the height of your person processing. And it may change from day to day. If you have different people, children, um, or taller people processing, it's nicer to have it adjustable. So really cheap way, uh, it's about a third to half the cost of a, a store-bought shackle, and you can use other stuff you had. You could use stainless rod. Um, I used galvanized because it was cheap and it was easy to clean and it didn't rust on us. But there you have it, shackle. No, there's a welder here at the shop if I need it. No, I wouldn't worry about it.